So U.S. Core PCE Price Index year over year came in hot family it's your boy soap guys tv million back with another one you can see here that the forecast sitting at 4.3 percent family but the actual number here was 4.7 percent and we're actually seeing a lot of our favorite crypto projects cryptocurrency in the whole market start to price in that necessary pain with more inflation numbers coming hot, um, Coinbase having terrible earnings and such a so many so so much of the FUD that we've seen this entire week, you could have expected this week to be volatile, family. In fact, I'm looking for a crypto correction. I will show y'all a little bit later in the video why this may just be a necessary pullback, getting us primed and ready for the next move to the upside. But we do have macro environment issues, so we got to talk about that as well. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know, do you think next federal rate hike will be 0.5 or 0.25? I have to know you guys' opinions inside the comments. Engage with the video. All right, let's get into it. So this is from the Kobayashi letter here. He says, incredible markets are now pricing in a 24% chance of a 50 rate hike. Futures are now seeing a 26 chance of four more rate hikes, and we're even seeing a 5% chance that the Fed moves to a 6% goal as far as the uh, federal um, rate fund. So again, funding here. So again, we got a lot to... <laughs> It's a lot, man. It says this is the biggest shift in hawkishness since September 22. It's a lot. And we've seen a we seen a drop in September. We've seen that drop in December. We've seen the relief rally at the beginning of the year, family. But now it looks like maybe the relief rally may have been over. Hopefully, some of you guys on some of you plays did take profits. You know, me personally, I took a little bit of profits. I didn't take anything from my hotel bag, but if you've been following the channel, y'all know I've been making a few super degen plays. If you're in the super degen plays, make sure you check out the links in the description, um, specifically here, the Patreon. So four more rate hikes could be extremely bearish for not just crypto but also the traditional market and as we get the news you're seeing the dxy here family push to the upside now it's crossed 105 um i'm not sure well i'll be looking for the next resistance here i'm not gonna say i'm not sure but it did cross the 618 here family and what i'm not sure of is if we get in a double top or maybe this thing um tanks out here at the 382 which is 107 but that'd be extremely bearish for crypto and the traditional markets um the dxy we got to keep an eye on this because usually it's an inverted chart here for bitcoin but what a lot of the experts are really paying attention to here family is the smp as you can see the smp was on a bullish trend here on the week but it just broke that trend and it's looking to hit there at the um um looking to um turn this uh resistance here into support so we got a retest here at 39 but when I look at this trend line of the trend, the uptrend, we still got a little space. So maybe the S&P falls down here to around 38 and then we see it jump back up. That's what I'm pretty much thinking because last time we retested, what, 35 here, which was the um, which was the 200 uh, day moving average. We retested it and then we bounced back up. So again, maybe we get a double bottom here. We retest the 200 somewhere around 37 and then we bounce back up. But, you know, you can't you can't you know, anything can happen. You know, is that we got the war, potential war. We got the tension, should I say not war, but tension between some of these countries. We do have the um, macro environment that's really, 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 really causing crypto to be at a standstill when it comes to 25K. And again, family, the worst enemy in this whole situation is time because the average retail if they don't have a consistent income coming in they just don't have the time to continue to hold 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 in the market as quantitative tightening pulls liquidity out of the system and causes people to lose jobs in some cases causes people to have to go get second jobs third jobs just to pay off their everyday responsibilities so you got to ask yourself do you think 
there will be a lot of people that's willing to sacrifice everyday responsibilities for cryptocurrency. Me personally, I just don't see it. I'm hearing the murmurs on the streets of how so many people are complaining about their insurance, their car insurance, mortgage, car loans. We're seeing debt here at a all time high. Just look at the turtle po total personal debt that's out there which is like 24 trillion dollars the u.s total debt is sitting at 94 trillion dollars so man it is it's, it's getting ugly out there it's getting ugly as far as debt um a lot of people are taking debt out because they just don't have the liquid cash to pay their everyday bills y'all let me know in the comments if this is something that is affecting you i like to just grain gaze that sentiment from some of the people in the comments you know are you having problems with your credit your debt you know what i'm saying is things getting tight in the household i love to know you guys opinions in the comments because again i'm just a regular person like you guys and um you know cryptocurrency can can get frustrating man you know the whole market can get frustrating and and that's why i think people lose patience you feel me they it's like man how much more pain do we have to go through before we actually see the next leg up? And it's looking more and more so like a four year cycle. And it just seems like we got to accumulate family headed up to that four year cycle. So just keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Just keep that in mind. You know, weigh your risk out. Don't go don't go out there and do nothing crazy in the cryptocurrency space. Even though we are getting the clearance sale and you know how we approach these red days. I just want you guys to be aware that we are in a macro environment and quantitative tightening. And nobody said this was going to be easy, man. You know what I'm saying? This is why a lot of people don't make it. If you're still here, salute to you. But nobody said that this was going to be easy, especially the people, the new people that's coming in the crypto space. I really feel for them because they're coming in the crypto space at floor levels, at bottoms, potentially, allegedly. But at the end of the day, what if it's not? You know, you can see a lot of people get wrecked and then we can again lose that confidence of retail, which we've been gaining over time as the new year set in. So, you know, I'm, I'm personally just playing the sidelines right now. I'm not doing nothing crazy. You feel me? I'm not doing nothing crazy. I actually took profits yesterday on my super dj place headed into um today because i knew today was going to be very very volatile i knew today you know was going to come out hot because we've been getting hot inflation all week long you can see here bitcoin is riding the pattern to the uptrend so no reason to really um be too concerned here unless we break the 236 of the latest uptrend which is sitting at 2301 i'm expecting us to bounce off the 236 and head back up if we are bullish family now if we are confirmed bullish we should bounce off this um this trend line here as you can see we're on an uptrend we should bounce off the uptrend which is the 236 sitting at around 2300 23301 and continue to move kind of like you've seen right here bounced off the uptrend little correction move back up to the upside maybe we get another one move back to the upside and then we could continue to see bullish momentum from the altcoins because the altcoins when we see that dom dominance go down in bitcoin we usually see that liquidity flush into the altcoins but now if we bear argument if we break the 236 we got the 382 sitting here at 22,000, and then a 0.5 sitting at 21,000. anything under 21,000 is bearish really anything under this neckline here which is um 21.6 is bearish now what the what the what the bears like to do is they like to test us maybe they wake us down to the neckline and um the bulls trick the bears and it, it just ends up being a bear trap here that is a possibility um because it's a lot of manipulation in the market a lot of trickery but if we break this neckline and more so break the 0.5 which is sitting at 21,000 you know wrap it up pack it up bag it up we are in a macro environment in um yeah, you know, come back in a halving cycle. So yeah, 21,000 is the number to be looking at, 0.5 here. Uh, but technically, family, we are still bullish and we are still kind of like following this pattern, chopping it up, chopping it up. All right. Now, taking a look here at Dogalon, because I know a lot of people here from the Dogalon news, you might have seen the thumbnail, Dogalon macro update. We're getting the same kind of action here with the meme coins, ink, uh, meme coins, altcoins, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can see here. We are on a uptrend. We've been holding this uptrend very, very nice. Elon is just such a beautiful, strong token here. We've been holding this uptrend very, very nice. We're seeing a sell off here because of the news. OK, so maybe we dip back down here um, to this trend line, which is a uh, six zero four right around six zero four four one. 
or maybe the bear the bulls take the bears all the way down here to 6039 trap them trap all of those shorts and we get a short squeeze back above the trend line that would be the the bullish argument um if we do drop down here um to this trend line so i got three uh three levels of support here i'm looking at 6039 6038 and then 6036 and if we draw draw uh draw a local fib here from the last uh high that we got on this last pump here you can see that we we did retest the uh, 382 here which is 6042 so maybe we bounce off 64 uh, 6042 and continue to go up but i'm just thinking with all the news that we're getting we could possibly break the 382 head down here to the point 0.5 which is 6039 which would be perfect for this pattern bounce off the point 0.5 here and head back up um confirming that we are still in this bullish pattern but anything under the point 0.5 which is 6039 then we could you know prepare yourself for some bearish momentum and uh, prepare yourself just to accumulate if you are holding long term so we'll be watching these three levels of support here we do have resistance at 605 so even if we do jump under the um the trend line here and go back up you know be aware that we do have this resistance up here at 605 so in order for us to truly move into the next level and uh the next wave of the uptrend we have to break this resistance which is sitting at 6052 family so that's all i got from you guys um just a macro update of what's going on Elon is strong, man. Look at this pattern. Elon is extremely strong. Now, we do have a bear pattern. Again, if we break this um, trend line here, we got three levels of support. Again, 3.9, uh, 3.8, and then um, 3.6. But uh, if we break the 6.18, which is 3.6, again, pack it up. It's accumulation time, and we might just, you know, might just be confirmed inside the macro environment in this four-year cycle, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this macro environment update. What y'all think about uh, the recession, the in sticky inflation. I'd love to know you guys' comment. It's your boy, Soul Guys TV. Millie, I'm out.